Hi everyone, I'm Susan and this is my 25 week pregnancy update. So I have just finished up my 25th week of pregnancy. Uh, I have been getting really tired and my legs have been getting sore. I've been laying down a lot more. Um, there are a couple days where I just felt like I just couldn't get off the couch. Um, just being really tired. Yeah, yesterday I worked a full shift, which hasn't happened very often because it's been so slow, but we're finally getting busy again at work. Um, so I worked a full shift during the day and I came home and I laid on the couch and I was just, I was probably there for at least an hour, which never happened before. And as I said, my legs have been getting sore. Um, so one thing that has been happening is during the nights, um, not every single night, but it's getting more and more frequent, like almost every second or third night now. I'll wake up in the middle of the night with just a huge cramp in either one of my calves. Uh, I guess they're called Charlie horses. I don't know, is that what they're called? And even in the morning the next day, I'll feel that there is pain in that leg from having that cramp the night before. Um, my doctor, or my midwife actually, has recommended to me um, using magnesium, so she said either like taking magnesium supplements or having like an Epsom salt bath because Epsom salts are magnesium or buying a magnesium spray which I might be doing pretty soon. She said you can get it on Amazon for you know a good deal so I might buy some magnesium spray from Amazon. Magnesium is great for loosening up any tension in your body and I used to take it a lot before for like I don't know sore muscles like sore shoulders or whatever and I did find that it helped. Another thing that has been happening with my legs is that they are now getting more swollen throughout the day. With the swelling comes just this feeling of heaviness and soreness throughout my legs as well. So I'm not sure if she's thinking that the magnesium will help with that sort of inflammation swelling, um, but it is something she recommended, so we'll see. Maybe I'll look into it a little bit more and see if magnesium is something that could help with that. So this tiredness and pain um, is obviously, it's a lot worse some days than it is on other days. And the days that it has been worse, it is, it's so frustrating. Um, because at this point, I'm three months away from having our baby. Um, I feel like mentally I'm prepared to have the baby. Physically I feel ready to give birth. Um, but the thing that I don't feel like I'm really prepared with is our house. Uh, I don't feel like anything is set up for the baby yet at all. Uh, we do have a room that we're going to sort of dedicate as the nursery. Um, I, I don't think our baby's going to be sleeping in that room. Definitely not in the beginning. We'll probably just keep her in our bedroom with us just for convenience and comfort for everybody. So we have a room where she eventually will be her bedroom, but there is a big, like there's a queen size bed in there right now, which needs to be moved. It's upstairs too. And we have um, sort of a, a dresser as well that we want to put up in her room. But physically, I can't do it and it's super frustrating because if I wasn't pregnant or even if I was earlier on in my pregnancy, I probably would have totally tried to, you know, move a queen size bed downstairs by myself and I probably would have tried to move a dresser upstairs all by myself as well. But now I'm just physically not capable and it's very frustrating for me when I'm just lying on the couch, um, you know, feeling like I really just can't get up from the couch and then my, you know, that's what my body is doing but then my mind is thinking like I need to prepare that room, I need to like, I just need to do all of these little things in the house um, in order to prepare for this baby but physically I just can't and even mentally like I'm kind of tired and you know <laughs> I just can't mentally put myself through all of that as well but at the same time you know it's not it's not that, it's not that big of a deal like I know if if nothing changes in our house right now even if we don't have a crib in that bedroom and you know nothing changes the house stays the exactly the same way it is right now I know that we'll be able to still have a baby and you know live comfortable lives and work around different things but I don't before I would just really love to be to be set up properly or to be set up optimally before we have the baby. Um, 
So yeah, like I said, it's been frustrating, but at the same time, none of these little issues that we have with the house are extremely serious. It's just, it's just things that I feel like could make things easier for us if we got them dealt with right away. So also physically, I'm obviously getting bigger and bigger, like I am every week. Um, I'm actually feeling like the baby is heavier now. Like I'm feeling some weight there and I'm feeling like more when she shifts around, I'm feeling more hardness. Like I'm actually feeling her moving around. Whereas before it just kind of felt like just like a big, like a big belly before. It just felt like belly. And now it's starting to feel like, like an actual person inside there. And when I um, look at myself in the mirror sideways, I feel like my belly's actually hanging down lower. I'm, I'm not sure if it was doing this before, but I feel like it's new for me right now that it's like hanging down, not so much just sticking out, but really starting to hang down. Um, my belly is big and I'm pregnant, obviously. Um, and, but the thing is, I've totally forgotten what I used to look like. I don't feel like I'm fat or anything, but I totally forget what it was like to have no pregnancy belly. And um, and so yesterday or the day before, me and Vince looked back on one of the very first videos that I posted, the very first video about my pregnancy, which was um, me telling Vince that I was pregnant. And so in that video, you can see what my stomach looks like before. Like I'm wearing a tank top and the tank top is hanging so loosely over my stomach. It looks like I don't even have a stomach. And it's just so amazing to think that that was only six months, that wasn't even six months ago, that was five months ago that I took that video because I would, would have been four, four weeks pregnant or something when I took that video. Um, so it's just amazing to look back on that and that was less than half a year ago and there's been such a difference but the difference has been so gradual that I have barely even noticed. Even though my belly is really big right now, I really have barely noticed it changing except for a few weeks where I got got big suddenly. So it's so cool to have that documentation to look back on and just to reflect on sort of where we have come from and how much we have grown both like both literally and metaphorically grown. So that is my 25 week pregnancy update. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for tuning in every week to check up on these updates. I hope you are all doing really well with your pregnancies as well. Um, yeah, it's, if you're at 25 weeks where I am or 26 weeks or anywhere around here, it's gonna fly by. That's what I keep hearing, it's gonna fly by. So just enjoy it while you can. But um, yeah, if you're anything like me, it definitely feels like it's not flying by. Um, but yeah, I wish you the best of luck with the remainder of your pregnancy. And um, yeah, I wish you and your baby the best of health and happiness. I will talk to you guys all again soon. Definitely subscribe to my channel if this is the first time you are watching this vi these videos. And I will talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye. It's so easy right now to tell you that you're the one for me. I've been thinking a long time, maybe we could rewrite our history. So come with me and we'll take on the world. There's nothing that you and I won't see. It's so easy to tell you, baby, you're the one for me.